Hi viewers, welcome to MES. Today we are going to learn about one more combination air air plugages with the air linkage. This is also a combination gauge. First of all, we will uh, see about the component. This is the component. It's like a nozzle body and uh, it is the injection part. Okay. Now we are going to inspect this outer diameter, then inner diameter of another one inside this component have two bores one is in front and another one inside the depth so two diameter is there inside we are going to take the depth bore two readings and another bore only one reading and outer diameter totally four parameter we are going to measure in this id the bore having more I means uh, cylindricity is very much important so we are going to show the cylindricity also in this picture by using this picture okay now we will first uh, see about the unit how it is manufactured yeah. this is the four channel five display unit the first one is the outer diameter of the part outer diameter of the part it will show in the first display and 14 mm inner diameter of the first step in second display and, uh, and uh, inner side inner diameter 10 mm the two level it will show then this two level calculating as a taper and then as well as cylindricity so this is the four channel five display unit then it have air saver when you are the component arriving into the gauge we will provide like this the sensor will on then only air will get it on so this kind of facility having in this unit so this is called sensor based air saver unit so sensor is removed so air is cut off you can see the light indication so this is a proximity sensor you all know how it is work okay. next yeah, I am dismantling the gauge. This is air ring gauge to check outer diameter of the part. To check outer diameter of this part. Then, these are the air packages. This is for 14 mm diameter. This one for 10 mm diameter another one for 10 mm diameter so this is at one level this is at second level both will show the taper and the cylindricity of the 10 mm board this for 14 mm so you can see here it is locating like this so now <coughs> we are going to assemble the gauge it's just done Okay, we already done the calibration. You can see the masters. This masters for 10 mm and another master for 14 mm and these for 15 mm outer diameter. These are the masters and the two numbers component. Okay, we will go for inspection. Now the air is on, we we'll go for a complete inspection. As I say, calibration time for all the details. These are the units. So 12 mm outer diameter in the first display, 14 mm in second display. This 14 mm in second display. Then ID 10 mm in third and fourth display. This is the taper. Now if you rotate the part. We will get what is the quality and the cylindricity of all this part. Next component. As operator point of view, it is very easy to insert and out. So this gauge also very much 
helpful for your productivity. This also use in final instruction. So overall accuracy and uh, repeatability within 2 micron. Okay, thank you and subscribe.